This is the real Tom Rose, and we're solving a counting problem. You can tell it's a counting problem because they start out by asking us how many. And we're dealing with uh, positive four-digit numbers here. And so let's start building our four-digit number. Now, this particular problem, note, meets two very important sets of criteria. We have a constant number of decisions, right, four, and we have a constant number of choices per decision, right? In the first decision, we have two, because it could be two or three, then we have 10, then 10, then one. And no matter what you pick for any of these choices, you always make all the other decisions, and you always have the same number of choices for each decision. So in the first one, let's just map this out. In the first decision that you make is the first digit. It can either be a two or a three. So you have two options. In the second decision, you can have any digit, zero through nine. So there's 10 of those. In the third case, we have the same criteria. You can pick any digit, 0 through 9. And in the fourth case, you can only use the number 1. So we really only have one choice there. Well, when that's the case, constant number of decisions and constant number of choices per decision, we can simplify this to the following. You take the number of choices in each decision, multiply them together, and the answer will be the number of combinations, which is 200.